May 12th, 2017. This is for D. Archer who wanted to write a paper on stellar metamorphosis and the philosophy of life formation. That's a great idea. I think you should go for it. To keep GTSM in a good perspective, two main ideas here will help considerably. Uh, the principle of biostellar evolution. This is here, right there says, a new principle of science is presented to connect biology with astronomy. According to GTSM, as stars cool and die, they form life, and that life evolves as the star evolves very late into its evolution. This is known because Earth is an ancient star at the very end of its evolution, and it hosts life. This means that a simple principle of biology, astronomy, can be presented. And it's very, very simple. As a star evolves, life forms and evolves on it. This principle means that establishment science has it wrong. Earth did not form completely with oceans as a lifeless world as is, and then life sprung up. The chemical precursors to life began forming on Earth when it was a much younger, hotter star. As the Earth cooled down from gaseous and plasmatic stages, the first amino acids and various other chemicals were forming in its atmosphere. This principle explains why life took so long to evolve. It is because it takes a star very long periods of time to evolve. They go hand in hand. The two processes are intimately connected by both physical location and by the deep time scales required for them to take place, many billions of years. Life forms exactly where it is found on the earth itself. There is no need for any extraterrestrial hypothesis. Not only that, but Earth is already in outer space, so that hypothesis is physically redundant. They say life came to Earth from outer space, yet they forget Earth is an astronomical object. The redundancy of astrophysical explanations accepted is very apparent. The second paper I have here, the astrophysical, or no, astrochemical principle of plant formation and stellar evolution according to stellar metamorphosis. It is presented a rule of thumb or principle with regards to astrochemical understanding and explaining planet formation and stellar evolution. <clears throat> Since it is known that new stars cool, evolve, and die to become more what are called planets via GTSM, we can set up a basic principle of astrochemistry to streamline a huge amount of inquiry into the matter. And that principle stated, The majority of chemical reactions in the universe take place inside of stars as they cool and die, not in the inter interstellar medium. It's very popular for astronomers and astrochemists and people who study, you know, interstellar dust and things like that to say, well, the chemistry of everything happens outside of astronomical bodies. No, it doesn't. The majority of the chemical reactions that take place in the universe happen inside the star as it evolves and dies. That's what provides the gravity. That's what provides the cohesiveness. That's what provides all the chemicals mixing together and trapping them. You don't form large amounts of chemicals like rocks and minerals absent a gravitating body. And we know this because we have never observed it happening. We've only observed rocks and minerals forming and, and processes that create huge amounts of cohesive chemicals inside of stars themselves, as we're even standing on an ancient star. So it's like right in front of us, it's obvious, it's right underneath our feet. Yet the paradigm is that the chemicals, they form out there and then they come here. No, they they form right here. They've... They've been forming right here, right inside the star. And the heavy chem chemicals and um, heavy elements, they stay put as the thick hydrogen layer uh, dissipates. The purpose of this paper and statement is to redirect scientists towards stars as being the location for thermochemical, electrochemical, and photochemical reactions. Thermochemical meaning... Uh, chemical reactions uh, pushed, for, pushed forward with heat loss and heat gain. 
Uh, basically, that ties into thermodynamics. Electrochemical, meaning chemical reactions as a result of electrical and magnetic uh, interactions such as lightning and things like that. And photochemical, meaning on the surface, so you could have chemical reactions occurring in the high atmosphere of Jupiter or the Earth or what, what have you based off of light interactions. So light from a host star could be causing the chemistry. They are the locations for the majority of the radi radiation production and the majority of the chemical reactions which occur in outer space. Stars form chemicals in huge amounts and as they die, evolve and disintegrate themselves and other older stars, the material then floats about the interstellar medium after the fact as a, as a direct result of flaring CMEs, solar wind, photo evaporation, and even impact events. Any studies that ignore stars as being locations for the majority of chemical synthesis and or decomposition reactions is misguided. So there you have it. Uh, two, two simple ideas there. They can kind of steer a uh, theorist's mind in the right direction because the paradigm is very misguided. All right, you guys, take it easy.